No shock on WWE approaching Brett, trying to undercut something the fans want, plowing forward with their nonsensical box of gimmicks, BS booking Bruce Vinska. Bro, listen, guys, let's get in the real world. If AEW is doing an Owen Hart tournament and they are constantly teasing Bret Hart and you find out that Bret Hart is not signed with AEW, what do you think they're going to do? Like, obviously, Bret Hart would be of great value to AEW in this tournament and the promotion, managing FTR. They don't want that to happen. So they threw the guy a lot of money at the guy, and he signed with them. And now he's making a lot of money, so all the best to him as well. This is business. This is what happens. In a company that he is always identified with, and he has always wanted to identify himself with, <laughs> you know, it just, I, I don't know. I, the timing of whatever, I just, people, I, I, I guess he's just a pawn. This particular move is just a pawn in the, in the game of people that will just continue to battle this back and forth. I just look at this as separate entities with Owen Hart and what they're doing. I'm just looking at it in that direction. I'm not trying to add in every other heart member to this, even Brett. It doesn't, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. He's in the match with FTR for big time wrestling or wherever it is. They will probably do the same somewhere in the South. I wouldn't be fall over shocked about that. If they do that, that's good enough. Isn't that enough? I mean, really, does Brett really have to be there on AEW TV every week? Why? It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, none of this matters. Got a poll here. Who is better, Brett Hart or Shawn Michaels here on the uh, Twitch feed? <laughs> See, and, I knew uh, it was going to happen. It's currently 96% Brett Hart and uh, 5% Shawn Michaels, which is actually a lot farther apart than I would have thought. But even better, in the chat, people are angry at the people who had the temerity to vote for... Is this what this world has come to? See, you've been missing all this. I tried to tell Bro, you. Bro, listen. Hey. Tried to tell if you. you think that Bret Hart was better than Shawn Michaels, like, that's fine. But what happened in this world where all of a sudden it is an insult to believe that Shawn Michaels was a better worker than Bret Hart? Dude, back in the 90s, there were a lot of people that thought that Shawn Michaels was a better worker than Bret Hart. This is not like saying, who's the better worker, Bret Hart or Great Kali? <laughs> and then you're like, who voted for Kali? That I can understand. Uh, but then We're talking Bret gonna... Hart and Shawn Michaels here. You'd always get egghead Japanese guy in there, too, where it's like, well, you're both wrong. It's Misawa or somebody like that, where it was just That's like, not oh, come on, whole... man. Stop muddying uh-huh. the whole thing. Oh, now, now the Shawn Michaels votes are all coming in. Are you going to blame me for skewing the poll now? I was reading this book about bats. The book explains that a bat cannot stand and then take off, okay? A bat can only fall from a great height and then fly. Gotcha. Sting is now a bat. He just goes up on something really high and he falls. He he did not jump through these tables. (laughs) He he fell. He fell. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.